Hey, it's Lucas Walker from Gorgeous. Let me just close these barn doors here since everyone seems to love when I do this in the videos. If you're listening on the podcast, you wouldn't have seen me close the barn doors. That's what this episode is all about. How to create an awesome podcast. This was filmed in Amsterdam at Shopify Pursuit Europe with Brian Peters, who's now a partner manager. But if you have listened to a marketing podcast, you've probably listened to the signs of social media, which Brian launched when he was at Buffer. So he shares how he was able to get over a million downloads before podcasting really became as popular as it is Today. So here's his formula for how he launched one of the top B2B marketing podcasts that you can use and replicate for your business as well. And if you have any tips for creating a podcast, anything else as well, maybe we'll create some more content around it. If you are talking to your customers one-to-one, looking to have a better customer experience, come check us out at Gorgeous. That's why we're creating this content after all, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Ecom Swipe File. Hey, what's up? It's Lucas from Gorgeous here. Thank you to everyone listening on the podcast and video. Joined with Brian Peters, who launched and co-hosted the Buffer podcast, Science of Social Media, your weekly sandbox for everything going on with uh, with social media and marketing overall. Yes. There was a lot of uh, just good, good digital marketing advice there. You guys are really ahead of the game of launching a podcast. I know you've got millions of downloads. With that, before you jumped over to Shopify. Mm-hmm. So Brian, if a, if a merchant or really a business, but the majority of our listeners are merchants wanted to start a podcast what would you say that the best thing that they can do are to get up and going and, and launch and get that success at like you had a buffer two things actually a couple things I'll, i'm gonna start with probably the most important and is to ask why like why are you launching a podcast i'm a huge believer in launching a podcast as a brand still to this day probably the fastest growing marketing channel for brands uh, but really like ask yourself what about your podcast as a brand as an entrepreneur is going to be unique in the space. Uh, there's a lot of noise out there. And so like, what are you bringing to the table? Whether it's interview format, storytelling format, doesn't matter. Uh, find like what's uniquely interesting about you, your business, or the story you're trying to tell and really bring that personality in the podcast. So like, I know it's kind of like cheesy, high level, yeah. but act, like find the why first and really dig into that. And I talked yeah. about this a lot of Buffer in our videos as well. It's like, you should start a podcast. It's like, well, not necessarily. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like starting any marketing channel. If you're not good at it's one or if you're not passionate about it it's not going to work and then it's going to become cumbersome and something you have you feel like you have to do yep uh and so we did a hundred i think i did 125 episodes oh, of buffer wow. it was wild but you know the whole time like the passion was there yep. uh it's, it was good to have a co-host who helps kind of keep that up and so yep. yeah definitely make sure you're you're invested in it before you go into it and then in terms of logistics what are the tools that people can use to get up and going and, and promote it as well uh, i would say like the, the, the couple things you have to absolutely have is a good microphone so mm-hmm. we use the blue microphone at buffer snowballs those were like 130 i think the snowball comes in at like 79 or 80 bucks american uh, have a good recording i guess software so we were actually using skype and call recorder for a long time okay. uh, if you could do it locally or in person i think that's ultimately the best yep. obviously um, Make sure your guests are also prepared with a good microphone. I yeah. think that was something oh, I learned early on. And as long as the quality is there, or I mean, the, the content quality is there, it doesn't always matter about the microphone, especially if you have like a celebrity, but that's yep. not the case all the time. Um, and then in terms of platform, I'm a huge fan of Anchor. Uh, the team over at Anchor is amazing. They're integrated into Spotify, Apple, Google, all of like the podcasts. Yeah, yeah. So, and their team is, is pretty awesome. You use Anchor as yep. well? Okay, yeah. cool. And really like, that's it. I hate to say it, like podcasting is not that complicated. What I will say though is like, make sure you have three to five episodes pre-recorded, ready to launch at the same time, the way that Apple's uh, Apple's still the king or queen of podcast downloads. So the way that uh, Apple's algorithm works is it like it's, it's it's downloads and velocity of downloads and reviews, right? So make sure you have a bunch of content to start. So if people want to binge listen to what the episodes that you publish, you'll actually get that extra bump and spike in the beginning. So we launched with, I think four episodes. It was pretty critical for us. You get that nice spike in the beginning and then it's all about audience retention over time so make sure you're thinking about like the lead into the future episodes of your podcast each time you end one um, like why would people want to come back I think you're competing with the Joe Rogans and the Tim Ferris's and you, you know are what I as mean? much so, as uh, yeah. to quote Gary Vee it's we are really are competing for attention if people yeah. ha- listen to an hour of podcasts a day 
Joe Rogan experience, there's three hours of podcast right there. Yeah, three hours of pod, like that's one three hour podcast. Every you're day. not getting, yeah, you're yeah, not. yeah. I think the last thing that I just wanted to mention really quickly is format. That was something we struggled a little bit with that buffer. We started with 30, 40 minute episodes, and what we found is like, you know, if you're not super tight or if you don't have an incredible guest on your podcast, it's yeah. like you could just find yourself rambling. Yep. And so like we decided to make the move to 10 to 15 minute episodes because we did realize that like we are competing with the one to two hour episodes. So if, if someone only has 15 minutes on the way to work, yep. uh, like let's plug in coffee. there or walking get a coffee, maybe an afternoon stroll with their pup or whatever. So like we, we that was our niche. Yeah. And I think like if you look at Naval, who's like an influencer on Twitter, his episodes are two minutes. Yeah. And then at the end of this, at the end of his first season, he actually combined all of his episodes into one, which oh, I thought cool. was kind of an interesting format. I so like it was like that. quick knowledge, like little TED talks every morning. Yeah. So like find your niche. Don't be afraid to do short format. Everybody thinks they have an hour long. Yeah, and yeah. People say I love it. It gets right to the point. Yeah. Because as much as people like you, they don't want to hear your whole life story for 15 minutes of how you no. went off. No, they want yeah. to hear. Oh, get cool. right into it. Right along the yeah, podcast, yeah, yeah. and he was successful. Here we go. One, two, three things we can yeah. do whenever. Absolutely. Yeah. And so that's it. Like that's. I think that podcasting is, a, is an incredible industry. You just have to find your niche. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So. Well, thanks so much, Brian. Where can people find you? Where can people uh, hear your voice on other podcasts? What do you got going on? Yeah. You know, I'm thinking about starting a podcast of my own. Of course, just add to the noise. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can hit me up on Twitter if you have any more questions. It's Brian underscore G underscore Peters. So awesome. Thanks yeah. so much. Come on. Thanks, thanks for being on. Don't forget to like this video, five-star review on Apple Podcasts. Help us out with that velocity. Uh, let's eat our own dog food a little bit. And don't forget to share this video with your mother-in-law. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Ecom Swipe File. I'm bald and bearded, just like Joe Rogan, which means you can catch our podcast on Spotify. If you're like everyone else, we're also on Apple Podcasts. Like Brian said, reviews help discovery there, so please leave us a five-star review. And if you do, send me a screenshot. I'll send you a little something, something with some gorgeous swag. Not to violate any terms of services, of course. This is a way to say thank you to our listeners.